Talking to God lately, me and him got a good relationship. If you not with the gang, then you can hang with us. Ballin', ballin', ballin' like I'm in the NBA. Just turned 24 today. Just like my watch, I'ma keep shining, shining on you hoes. That jealousy don't look good on you. I don't do nothing unless it feels right. You next to me, yeah, it feels right. It feels right. Just don't switch up on me. Why do you feel so entitled? I can't stand people who feels entitled. Looking to get a response, but you won't get one out of me. If it ain't making me grow, please switch the conversation. Please switch the conversation. Need me someone who is down to earth, someone down to earth. I need me someone who is down to earth, someone down to earth. Yeah, someone, yeah. So the interesting thing is that you find places that you don't even plan to find when you're on a road trip. You just have to be willing to stop. Look how I randomly just encountered the trial water wheel. And it's so huge. Like it's huger than I would have imagined. And it's just here casually chilling on the side of the road. There's a sign um, there, it's next to the golf club. It's actually visible from the main road and it's so cool. So I love finding these little interesting parts of history. So it says here that the water wheel was installed in the early 1700s by the then owner of the estate, Henry Fairchild. So this was really a coconut and a pimento estate and they closed basically after the Second World War when trials ceased to be a working plantation. It's pretty cool. So the wheel is powered by water from the Flint River, which runs for about three miles through the property. And it took the slaves like a quarter century to build. So you can see that most of the original structure is still here intact. You can see the aqueduct here that would have carried water for the water wheel to turn. It's a very, very gorgeous um, relic.
real Jamaican style. So, people must sell what? Jerk chicken on the river. Local price at all? Thank you. 